I hope you can see the buck in behind me. Uh, this project is, uh, I like to call it project creep, <laughs> mainly because it's a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. A lot of ideas I had in my head haven't quite worked out, but uh, it's coming along very well. I'll swing this around. I actually see what we're pointing at. As you can see, I have the upper rear corner mostly done. The difficulty I'm having, this is what's under the back corner as well, two by four stringers. And then I made up a piece of styrofoam slotted it for bending and it also I use it to check the depth of the I guess you call it a side wing or something I don't know <laughs> so at any rate I just put this on see here it's a little bit too low the idea is the foam should be flush right now but the only thing that's glued is the actual curved piece of Luan and down here I adjusted it until I got it to the right depth so what I can do is these are just screwed in. No, there's no glue here. The idea is that once I have formed the inner and outer shell of the top and bottom and ends of the trailer body, then I would just take all the screws out of one side and the form will just slide right out. And then I can take the form, put it mostly back together again, just so I have a nice flat spot to glue the sidewalls that will be able to slide right into it. So it's a bit tedious right now, mainly because of the careful measuring and I've been bending a piece of Luan around to make sure that it's going to form the shape I want, which it does. If I had a third hand, I could show you. <laughs> but what I'm planning on doing is once I have a 40 inch wide piece of Luan, so I'm going to add, I need two more cross braces. I will put that piece on and then go back and work on this corner. Take the screws out one side at a time and move the circle out a little bit so it's in exactly the right spot. It's not, it's not that far off, but it's just enough that if I leave it like that, when I go to put the sides in, then I'm going to end up having to do a lot of sanding with a belt sander, and that's going to be really awkward. I want the sidewalls to be snug, but they should slide right in without having to fight with it. And here's, a here's one of the sidewall foam bases. All cut out exactly the same shape as the side, as the piece of your OSB board you see here. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.